Whether you want to be the most studious, most popular, or most likely to succeed, these 10 awesome school life hacks will help you excel early so you don't need to be saved by the bell. Leave it to the hub to give you the tools you need to sail through graduation with ease. Pick up your number two pencils and take notes because you're gonna wanna remember these 10 valuable life hacks. And be sure to hit the subscribe button as much as you hit those books. Like a graphing calculator in algebra class, the hub has all the tools you need to pass with ease. Hello to toothpaste, goodbye to ink waste. So you have a report due and you don't have a means of correcting an inked on mistake? Or you're working on a visual product and you drew a line in permanent marker that throws off your poster's feng shui. Or your teacher wrote a B on your take home test and you really want whoever views the test to think you got an A? Well, you could invest in a bottle of whiteout, but why waste your money on a one time use product when you could use that most multi-talented of toiletries? Toothpaste. That's right, toothpaste can whiten both your teeth and your papers. By applying a little bit of baking soda based toothpaste to the ink in question and then cleaning off the paper with a dab of water, the ink should be removed and the paper should be mistake free. Unlike whiteout, it doesn't leave a glob of whiteness to call out any previous imperfections. You can also use toothpaste to clean off scuff stains to your shoes and remove any pimples you may get after a late night of trying to hypnotize yourself into remembering all the battles of World War II for that midterm tomorrow. Let Google school you. We've all been down the rabbit hole of Google searching before. We start out looking for one thing, like what was the name of Napoleon's horse, and then end up reading through some ridiculous fan fiction based on the hip hop life story of Alexander Hamilton. Well, maybe this hasn't exactly happened to everybody, but with a wealth of information at our fingertips, it's easy to lose ourselves in the massive information superhighway known as the internet. It's increasingly more difficult to find reputable sources, especially when we need to quickly and efficiently assemble an MLA formatted bibliography for a last minute paper. Well, Google has apparently heard all of your concerns because they've developed Google Scholar. It's a more focused search engine that will take your topic of choice and provide professional results from scientific journals and scholarly essays. This site will help you impress your teachers and make it look like you put in extra effort on that essay on black holes, or at least more effort than your classmate who just typed space facts into Google and hit the feeling lucky button. For extra validation, copy and paste your essay into Google Translate. The website will have an automated voice read your essay back to you. That way you can hear any oddly structured sentences or weird turns of phrases you may have missed while reading silently to yourself. Know where to go. If you're new in town and still getting used to the layout of your campus, it could be hard to keep track of natural landmarks while having to look down at your printed schedule. You're carrying a heavy backpack with books, a planner, writing utensils, a calculator, and who knows whatever else. So why lug an extra object when you can make the most of the device you probably store in your pocket? Phones have many uses, calling, texting apps, and web surfing on the go. But there's one simple feature you may not be using to your advantage. Why not just take a picture of your printed schedule and make it your phone's lock screen? That way, you can glance at the front of your phone when you check for text messages. It's a foolproof way to acquaint yourself with your routine. Once you know where you're going, you can easily switch back to using a picture of your significant other or a landscape shot from that perfect vacation. Make your workspace less crummy. For some people, the cleaner the workspace, the easier it is to focus. From neatening up clutter to organizing books, Menial tasks like these could be used to put off writing that looming report. But in most cases, a messy desk is a distraction that should be addressed in order to foster a more ideal working environment. That need for cleanliness may extend to your keyboard. How many of you have looked down at the keys while typing and noticed dust, crumbs, and maybe tiny pieces of Cool Ranch Doritos are wedged in the nooks and crannies of the keys? Yes, you can turn your keyboard over and shake it. If the gunk is wedged deep in there and you're particularly compulsive, you can just go out and buy a new keyboard. But an easier way to clean out these crevices is to simply grab your nearest sticky note, fold it at the sticky end and drag that thin sticky edge through the spaces between the buttons. It'll do the trick and make your laptop's keyboard good as new. Chew gum for gumption. How many times have you been chewing gum in class when your teacher asks you to spit it out? Maybe it's not as much of a teacher pet peeve as it was in the past, but chewing gum in class used to be almost as sinful as wearing a hat in school. 
If only classroom administrators back in the day had gotten a hold of the results of this study from St. Lawrence University in Canton, New York. Researchers followed 224 students, monitoring a third of the students as they chewed gum right before a test. Another third only chewed gum before and during a test. And finally, the last third of students were not given any gum whatsoever. The first group performed best, with the researchers finding that students who chewed gum prior to taking a test had a 20-minute period of improved test-taking abilities. They had increased blood flow to the brain, aiding their memory and energy levels. Those who chewed gum before and during the test actually didn't show an improvement, and researchers think that's because the small amount of brain power devoted to continual gum chewing actually detracted from the student's test-taking abilities. It's also been determined that if you chew a particular flavor of gum while studying for a subject and chew that same flavor near testing time, your memories associated with that flavor will improve your chances of retaining the knowledge and passing the test. Pick a color. Just as taste and physical activity aid in memory, color has a big impact too. Hue plays an important part in retention, and when you're taking notes at the first lesson, be sure to use blue or red ink, depending on the situation. According to a study at the University of British Columbia, students respond better to red notes when they needed to make grammar notes or corrections, and retain technical information. They had an improved response to the color blue when dealing with creative problem solving. So, if you're brainstorming a writing project or studying philosophical or literary ideas, go for blue. Overall, blue was found to be the more common color, and while it may not be as effective as red in terms of psyching you up before a timed test, it's more likely to help you remember big ideas when writing a long-winded essay. Amplify your study habits. Outside of color, sound has a huge impact on our memory and our general state of being. Listen to a song today that you first heard at the homecoming dance, and you might be taken back to the gymnasium on that memorable fall night. Perk up your ears to Back in Black by ACDC, and you might remember blasting it in the car while you sped down the highway and permanently lost several decibels of hearing. Not surprisingly, classical music is thought to foster more receptive brain activity, so play some Bach or Beethoven when you want to cram more factoids into your overstuffed noggin. What if you need to tune out other distracting noises in the surrounding area and you don't have a set of your own speakers? Just grab a cell phone and some toiletries for this neat DIY trick. Cut a rectangular hole into the bottom of a plastic cup and fit the speaker end of your cell phone through it. The opening of the cup acts as a loudspeaker, amplifying the sound and allowing more noise to permeate your space. If you want to have a cheap alternative to an iPod port, all you need is a toilet paper roll and two plastic cups. Cut a rectangular hole into the side of the toilet paper roll that's big enough for the speaker end of your cell phone to fit through. Cut circular holes into the sides of the two plastic cups big enough for either opening of the toilet paper roll to fit. The roll acts as a base for the phone and the cup will act as a dual amplifying speaker. It's a nifty cardboard and plastic alternative to a metallic appliance. Speed up your studies. If you have the means to record, i.e. a modern iPhone or Android, and you have permission from your teacher or professor, here's another proven way to cram as much info as possible into your brain. If your educator allows, go ahead and record any important lectures you see fit. Then in preparation for an upcoming test, play back the lessons at double the speed. This will quicken up any slow moving study time and may better stimulate your brain. Thanks to studies on the subject, we know that the human brain can understand and critically analyze words played faster than the average speaking speed. And if you play it on a loop while you sleep, you might wake up knowing more than you thought. Play enough fact-driven lectures in your sleep and you could wake up like Neo in the Matrix, knowing Kung Fu. Just try it, then go pick a fight with a computer simulated man wearing a suit and sunglasses and see if you end up being the chosen one. It'll be worth it. You probably won't need to study anymore. It's basically the ultimate graduation. The shape of things matter. Just as sound and touch can impact your learning comprehension, shapes can too. If you're able, bring a laptop to class and type up your notes, but don't use popular fonts like Times New Roman. Try something more crazy and colorful. Ultimately, you can take a chapter from the advertising industry and use style that will catch the reader's attention. Readers like you. Imagine you're advertising to yourself. What would you find most appealing? Are you a Comic Sans fan? 
Do you adore the curves and corners of Garamond? Or maybe you prefer deciphering the symbolic hieroglyphs of Wingdings? Whatever your choice, go crazy! The more colorful, the more memorable. And if you're more artistically inclined and technologically averse, try doodling through your notebooks with pictures and images in the margins that are consistent from subject to subject. The physical act of drawing might connect you subconsciously to the facts you're studying. Treat yourself. Most importantly, don't work yourself to the bone. Reward yourself for small victories with breaks or meals or regular sleep patterns. Sure, when the semester is nearing its end, most of us need to find the closest bunker in which to read until the end times. But don't burn yourself out. And if you're the type of person who hates the idea of spending any more time on a subject than the couple of hours per week you spend in class, give yourself some rewards along the way. Placing gummy bears at the end of various paragraphs of a dense open textbook gives you some much needed incentive to complete the passages rather than faking it in class the next day. Follow the trail of food clues to learn as much info as you can, and maybe find appropriate treats that match the subject you're studying. For example, use those grid-shaped circular pretzels for your geometry homework. Now you'll be thankful you have to read through that massive version of War and Peace. At least it's big enough to fit a slice of pizza after every paragraph. Once you move on to postgraduate life, these methods will stick with you. They'll make your work easier and allow you to have more time to devote to your friends, families, or hobbies. After all, life can be stressful, so why not make hard work a little more bearable and, dare we say, fun? Keep an eye out for more amusing and unique tips on The Hub. We'll always have interesting and thought-provoking ideas for you to explore, creative hacks for you to try, and entertaining videos for your viewing pleasure. Thanks for watching!